Hello everybody. Right now we're going to read Harry the Dirty Dog by Jean Zion. Pictures by Margaret Bloy Graham. Oh, he's very cute. He has a bathtub and a brush in his mouth. And it looks like some maybe some nice warm steam coming up. Harry the Dirty Dog. Oh boy. Harry was a white dog with black spots who looked who liked everything except getting a bath. Oh, I understand now. He stole the little brush from the bathtub because he didn't like getting a bath. So one day when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush and buried it in the backyard. Then he ran away from home. He played where they were fixing the street, oh boy, and got very dirty. That does not look great news, but he looks happy. He's got a smile on his face. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. Let's see, where is he? Up the stairs. Oh, there he is. He's getting all of the soot from the engine. He played tag with other dogs and became dirtier still. Look at all the dogs getting dirty. There's Harry. He doesn't even look the same. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Oh, he is dirty. A long time ago, boys and girls, they used to deliver coal to people's houses because that's what they would put in their furnaces to help heat their homes. They don't do that anymore. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought that he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too, so without stopping on the way, he ran back home. His face looks a little sad. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. Well, his face looks very sad. One of the family looked out and said, There's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? <clears throat> when Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do all his old clever tricks. He flip-flopped and he flop-flipped. He rolled over and played dead. He danced and he sang. I think when dogs sing, they go, Awoo! He did these tricks over and over again, but everyone shook his head and said, Oh no, it couldn't be Harry. Harry gave up and walked slowly toward the gate, but suddenly he stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and he started to dig furiously. What do you think he's going to get? Soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short happy barks. Bark, bark, bark. He'd found the scrubbing brush and carried it in his mouth. He ran into the house. Up the stairs he dashed, with the family following close behind. I bet they're going, what is this silly dog doing? This is not Harry. How come we have a, a dog in our house? It's not ours. <clears throat> he jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging with the scrubbing brush in his mouth. A trick he'd certainly had never done before. This little doggy wants a bath, cried the little girl. And her father said, why don't you and your brother give him one? Harry's bath was the soapiest one he'd ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look, look! Come quick.
It's Harry! It's Harry! It's Harry! They cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly, and he became, once again, a white dog with black spots. It was a wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he'd hidden under his pillow. And that's the end.